Hello, this is our Ram ProMaster 1500. It has a little less than 53,000 miles on it right now. She's been all over um, 36 states so far. It's hard to see the roof rack on top, but there's four 100 watt solar panels. They're Renogy. It also has a ladder rack on one side because we travel doing catastrophic entrance claims and you need to have a ladder to climb on the roofs. So that's the ladder rack on this side. And then over here are the solar panels. So we're coming in from the back. Stepping up. So here's the bed. Sorry. Um, bed slash couch. And it actually folds out. You can see the little piano hinge on the bottom and the top layer folds out, comes over this way and it lays on, there's legs that lay on the countertop. So it actually is twice this size. Um, we traveled my fiance, myself and our dog. Um, and then, so here's the solar charger right here. Um, a little bit closer on it. Here's the power for the inverter right here. Um, here's storage. Sorry, we still have a little bit up here, but there's storage up here. And then again on the other side, storage up on this side. Here's the countertop. Um, it is a concrete countertop. We refinished it a couple of times. I liked um, kind of the worn in feel, so I really like to mix the dark and the light colors in it. The backsplash. It's like blue, white, and gray. And then there's also um, storage under here coming from the back. Just scoot this over. Lots of storage under here. Uh, you can see up top uh, we have our inverter and the two 200 amp hour batteries in the back. It's vented right here. So all of this opens. Um, we also have right here, this is a table. So it comes out like this. So you can sit on either side or sit on the bench right here. Um, I'll kind of turn around this way so you can see it looking back. This is, as of now, it's the restroom, but I'll show you kind of how we thought about changing it. So that slides open. There's a nice convertible space. Uh, we thought about either making it a shower or a closet or um, with work from home right now, it would be nice to maybe put a desk in there and make it like a little workspace. But the toilet, it's kind of hard to do by myself, but it, it scoots back inside. Um, it scoots all the way back in there. So it makes it a nice empty space. Um, we've also thought about turning the toilet, facing it out and removing the table and having it to where the toilet would come out this direction. So we would have this space completely open to do whatever we wanted with it. But um, for us, while we were on the road, this just worked as our bathroom. Again, you can just lift it up and pull it out and it comes all the way out. It's vented under there and kind of See it where it's vented under there um, yeah and so this I'm gonna go ahead and shut this and then I'll step down 
and this is a nice little bench right here um i did a lot of work on this i would either put uh, my computer up there on the countertop or i would put out the table and put my computer on that and work from here um, sometimes i would just put my computer here and stand outside and work we also watched a lot of movies put the computer up there and watch movies like from outside the van but this you can remove all of this and lift this up and here's the refrigerator so it's a Dometic fridge runs totally off our solar um it's really nice we haven't had any issues with it at all it's just been really good um yeah and then so this just goes back on here and here's our little bench little seating area kind of walk you this is the 136 inch wheelbase so it's the shorter version kind of walk you around it there's a better view of the solar up on top the vent for the toilet right here so and i'm not sure if i pointed out the sink right here and then under here are the tanks so clean water on the right gray water on the left Easy to remove, refill. Yeah. This is her. She looks great. Oh, here's the event fan. And then I also forgot to mention there's storage space up top in here as well um, we just kept these uh, thick keep out the light um, and then if you look between the seats this is where we kept the additional cushion so when the bed is out we just bring the cushion in from between the seats put it up on top and then most of the time we put like a sheet over the whole thing and works great for us.